Good evening, friends and WCA family. My name is Allison Lake. I am the Executive Director of Westchester Children's Association, and I'm delighted to welcome you to our 2021 Spring Virtual Benefit. Tonight, we are here to celebrate the fiercest advocates for children in Westchester County and honor those who have helped pave the way for our children to succeed in life. But before we celebrate, I want to recognize that this year has had many challenges. The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic has wreaked havoc on families. Racial and social unrest has gripped the nation and crushing budgets from the state capitol to Main Street have impacted us all and especially our children. Many of you have heard me share the Maasai greeting and how are the children? The answer tonight, my friends, is not too well. But there is hope. Lending your support to our advocacy can change the trajectory for thousands of children. Together, we can bring about change and make a difference. At WCA, our goal is to create a community where all children are healthy, safe, and prepared for life's challenges. And you can help us be successful. At this time, I am thrilled to recognize and express WCA's heartfelt appreciation to our major donors and sponsors. Our dream makers this evening are Kate and Seymour Weingarten. Thank you so much. We have a crusader for children in Becky Sandberg. Thank you so much. And at the guardian level, we have the Colgate Bright Smiles, Bright Futures, Janice Cook Roberts, Greater Hudson Valley, New York chapter of the Lynx Incorporated, the Hudson Valley Credit Union, and Ann Umamoto. Thank you one and all. We could not do what we do without your generous support. Thank you. Are you ready to celebrate our fiercest advocates for children? All of our honorees this evening live and breathe our advocacy work and know that advocacy is more important now than ever before. If we are to make the systems and policy changes so desperately needed, we must recommit to the work. WCA leads the charge for children in Westchester by promoting a remote learning agenda focused on equity and access, supporting a broader youth justice platform beyond Raise the Age, publishing a data dashboard to stay on top of child and youth homelessness, building a public awareness campaign for home visiting, expanding Project Engage's advocacy training for youth, and advocating for solutions, not suspensions legislation on school discipline. I hope you will show your support for our work by making a donation during our Fund and Eat presentation or anytime during the evening. WCA would not run without our board of directors whose dedication helps to make the work we do possible. This organization is indebted to Ann Umamoto, our board president, and tonight's benefit would certainly not have come together without Ellen Adnipos, our Development and Benefit Committee Chair. A special note of appreciation goes to Tenley Hawkins for always so willingly sharing the crafts of her trade with us. Last, but certainly not least, I wanna give a big shout out to my small but mighty staff, Lynn Marie, Rebecca, Anya, Josh, and Debbie. Thank you so much for all you do. Friends, thank you again for joining us this evening. I will return in just a bit for our awards presentation. Right now, please join me in welcoming a real partner, someone who is always ready to roll up her sleeves, our board chair, Maris Krasnow. Maris? Thank you, Allison. You always know how to light a spark in us. I'm Maris Krasnow, and I'm proud to be the chair of the WCA Board of Directors and an active member of the Research and Advocacy Committee. I have been part of the WCA family since 2004, and I have loved every minute of it. When I was a clinical associate professor of early childhood and special education at NYU Steinhardt, working with WCA to improve awareness 
and support programs for infants and children allowed me to be part of activism that helped families all over Westchester County. As a teacher educator, working with WCA provided me the unique opportunity to model for and with my students their future roles as both teachers and advocates for young children and their families. Together, we discussed the responsibilities and joys of giving back to our communities. WCA steadfastly keeps infants and young children at the top of the public agenda by providing ongoing research, data analysis, activism for childcare, and support for program funding. They provide critical resources that educate and empower policymakers, community leaders, and anyone concerned with children, teens, and families. In the past couple of months, I have been part of a team that met with Westchester's Department of Health Commissioner and leadership to share insights into the importance of home visiting for newborns and their families across the county and state, especially in light of additional challenges brought on by COVID-19. We also participated in a presentation with our new commissioner, of the Department of Social Services and his team on WCA's new Child and Youth Homelessness Data Dashboard. Did you know that there are almost 3,000 homeless children and youth in Westchester County? Additionally, WCA was proud to present U.S. Representative Jamal Bowman and New York State Board of Regents Chancellor Dr. Lester Young Jr as they describe their visions of education beyond the pandemic at our extremely successful advocacy breakfast. We at WCA have been very busy. As young children discover their talents, it is all of our responsibility to remove barriers and provide the resources so that they can all reach their full potential. Although I have retired from being a professor, my work with WCA allows me to share my passion with community members and be part of the change this county needs. You can be part of that movement too. Listen in as we share our current work to move projects forward for Westchester youth and take note of the ways we have already made important progress to support our children. When the occasion arises, during the event, I hope you will find it in your heart to donate to help us do even more for the over 300,000 children and youth in Westchester County. WCA is near and dear to my heart, and I hope it will be for you as well. What a great way to kick off this event. Thank you so much, Allison and Maris, for that great introduction to WCA. Good evening, friends and WCA family. My name is Erica Lindsay Ayala, and I am delighted to serve as your MC for tonight's virtual benefit. Some of you may recognize me as a former WCA employee, having directed our social impact program called Gathering Policy Solutions, or GPS for Kids. I also created the WCA podcast series, Ground Truthing, which I still host to this day, and I hope you are tuning in. I am so excited to be celebrating Westchester's fiercest advocates with you this evening. For over 107 years, WCA has been advocating on behalf of children, and they are not slowing down. So I'm gonna need your help this evening, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that after this next segment, because you will have the ability to help us advocate for children. So make sure your cell phone is handy, and anytime during the event, feel free to text at 970-840-9000. If you are moved by what you're hearing, and we know you will be, that's what you're going to need to know in order to make a donation tonight. And here's what you're going to do. Again, the number is 970-840-9000. When you open up that message, you're going to text WCA Kids, enter a space. Then the amount that you want to donate, 
I'll have a few suggestions, don't worry. Enter another space and then provide your name. You can also leave that blank if you wish to donate anonymously. We will talk more about this in a few. And don't forget, it's not too late to invite your friends to join us tonight. Share our Facebook page for the live stream. That is facebook.com backslash WCA for kids. Or you can share the link to this fabulous event site, which is WCABenefit2021.org. And please share on social media. I'm going to be looking. So use hashtag WCABenefit2021. We would love to see your comments in the chat rooms, on social media, so make sure you're staying active. In this next segment, you will hear directly from people impacted by the work of WCA in our major issues, including Project Engage, Youth Justice, and Data and Child Homelessness. So sit back, relax, grab a cocktail or a mocktail, and let us show you some of the ways we impact children in our community. Hi, my name is Sandra Deremy. You may remember me from WCA Speak Up slash Speak Out and a recent Ground Truthing podcast, season three, episode three. I'm a high school senior at Sleepy Hollow High School who's very active in my community. Along with several other social justice projects, I help lead a countywide organization called Westchester Student Organizers for Justice and Liberation, Westchester Social for short. As you can probably tell, I'm very passionate about civic engagement. I've spent a big part of my life simply just identifying the problems in my community, unknowing of the fact that I could actually get up and address these problems. Once I began identifying the issues that impacted me personally, I knew I had to do something. I had to do something about the comfort in the midst of injustice that I was constantly seeing. I had to do something about the lack of racial diversity in my honors and AP classes. I had to do something to address the overlooked racial wealth gap in my town and neighboring towns. So I did. <laughs> I currently serve as a board member in social justice groups, example, Westchester Social, dedicated to combating these issues. Civic engagement is how community members formulate solutions to mitigate the problems plaguing their communities. And it's important to me that I do not only what I can to improve my own quality of life, but also the quality of life of those around me. I am excited to partner with WCA once again to describe the work that they do to help lead change and give students a platform to become more civically engaged through Project Engaged. Through workshops across Westchester, events, toolkits, WCA has helped me and hundreds of other young people uplift our voices in more effective ways, promote issues in our communities, and speak up with and speak with community leaders, allowing us to develop a strategy towards progress. I greatly appreciate the opportunity to speak about how I've been staying civically engaged through bringing awareness to racial inequity, issues in policing, and educational inequity in Westchester County. Thank you, WCA, for all that you do. I hope that you will continue to support the Westchester Children's Association in all of their efforts to expand Project Engage so more young people like me can develop these skills. Hi, my name is Lewis and I'm 20 years old. I have been at the Youth Shelter Program for nine months. Thank you for Westchester's Children Association for inviting me to be part of your event today. I am very passionate about criminal justice reform for young people, especially because I have been through the system and I can understand how bias it can impact young people. I'm particularly passionate and interested in solid, solid diversionary community programs that support young people with creating a roadmap for their life. I feel if these programs were in place before I got in trouble, I would, it would have changed my outcome of being in a criminal justice system in the first place. I know that WCA has played a vital role in advancing raise the age legislation and youth justice policy for all children in Westchester County in New York State to the benefit of myself and others involved in the criminal justice system. We are thankful for WCA's pres presence to ensure that services like those provided at the Youth Shelter Program of Westchester and community-based rehabilitative services are funded and supported. As WCA begins to work with state partners to expand criminal justice reform for young people, I can personally share how important this work is because new initiatives and programs like the Youth Shelter Program of Westchester create a safe space for young people to engage in restorative and holistic practices. This is important because it helped me understand who I am and how I can be the change I want for myself. I was able to ignite my passion for cooking at the youth shelter, allowed me an opportunity to create my own YouTube channel.
Lunch with Lewis. With your help, I know that WCA can continue to be successful so that young people like myself can be supported with better outcomes through age appropriate services and sentencing and reduce use of disciplinary practices, including suspensions that shape the school to be prison pipeline. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, my name is Limery Cabrera, and I'm the Director of Data Operations and Finance at Westchester Children's Association. Here at WCA, every number is a story to be told. It's a story of inequity. It's a story of struggle, and sometimes a story of victory. At the Westchester Children's Association, we don't just analyze data, we make it actionable. Data isn't just an excuse for us to make charts. It is the foundation and basis of the advocacy work that we do. Take, for example, our work with youth homelessness. In 2019, we issued the report, Making the Invisible Visible, where we identified that different homelessness definitions from different governing agencies produced vastly inconsistent portraits of what was going on in the county. The difference in the numbers created a gap and there were children and families in need who were falling into this gap and were not receiving the services that could get them out of homelessness. We also realized that in writing this report, there was limited public data on the racial inequities associated with homelessness. So last year, we started digging deeper beyond the publicly available data sets. We reached out to our partners to get additional data and filed a freedom of information law request with New York State. When we did get the data, it was in a format that wasn't user friendly. So we did work behind the scenes to make it ready for public analysis. And we repaired the data in such a way that it could be numerically and visually broken down by race and age. And we broke it down by local community because we wanted to give people the tools that they need to advocate for their children. But most importantly, we brought in data from the different government agencies into one dashboard, which we're planning to release this summer. So we can all start breaking down these data silos and these differing definitions. We've already received some feedback from our partners in the nonprofit and government sectors, and we're taking note of the questions being raised when we're looking at the data. Are we doing a good enough job identifying children and families experiencing homelessness? Do families really know where to turn to when they're in a crisis? These questions pave the way to improvement in the way we all track homelessness and housing instability. We're also happy to report that Westchester County Department of Social Services, in response to the increased COVID risks in overcrowded households, launched a pilot project this year to address the needs of doubled up children, which we identified in our 2019 report. We're creating connections between organizations, agencies, and partners who work with children and families so we can narrow that data gap, that service gap, that endanger children and youth experiencing homelessness. Every number counts because all of our children matter. Please consider a gift to WCA this evening to support our upcoming data and advocacy work on behalf of the children of Westchester County for the children experiencing homelessness, for the children experiencing inequity, for the children facing struggle, so we can make sure that they all are healthy, safe, and prepared for life's challenges. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Lewis. And thank you, Lynn Marie. As you saw in those videos, we have a great deal of work to do. And with your help, we can do it even better. WCA is ready to lead the charge for children in Westchester County. And with you, we are unstoppable. So I'm going to share the fundraising levels that we need to keep doing that important work. And as you would raise your paddles, if we were together in person, I need you to pick up your smartphone and text us your donation so we can keep advocacy alive and well in Westchester. So please follow the following prompts on the screen and I'm gonna walk you through it right now. So you're gonna grab your smartphone, you're gonna text 970-840-9000. So that's the number. And then you're going to type WCA Kids, add a space, enter the amount you would like to donate, and then enter another space and then provide your name. You can also leave this blank if you wish 
to donate anonymously. Again, text 970-840-9000 with the message WCA Kids space, the amount you would like to donate space and your name. You know you've got it right when you get a confirmation text with a link to donate to WCA. Okay, let's get started. Let's talk about the $5,000 level. Your gift of $5,000 will help us continue to narrow the digital divide beyond the pandemic by helping us act upon our remote learning petitions, excuse me, shared in Spanish and English so that there is equitable access during snow days and in education overall. So again, we are at the $5,000 level. I'm going to keep my eye on that meter. Alice, I see your donation coming through. Thank you so much. I'm going to call them out as I see them. But again, we are at that $5,000 level and we already have some folks, Anne and Richard Young, at the $5,000 level. Thank you so much for your donation. Let's get more at that $5,000 level. Keep having them come in, folks. Again, we're talking about the $5,000 level right now. Thank you so much to all the donations coming in. We appreciate all of your support. Let's keep the ball rolling. We're going to see more donations come in. And as I see them, I will call them out for you. But again, that's what you get at the $5,000 level. We're breaking down the digital divide and we've already saw some come in. And Umamoto, thank you. Linda Ellis, thank you for your gifts. And now let's talk about $2,500 hundred dollars your gift of 2500 will help us speak up for over 2300 children in westchester who live in overcrowded conditions but who are not supported with the services of those who are homeless child and youth homelessness wca's call to action led the county department of social services dss to pilot a housing program for overcrowded families and there are so many things that we can do with your donation at the $2,500 level. I'm watching the screen. We're at the $2,500 level. Thank you so much for those who are making donations. Again, at any time you can make a donation. Harry Wazer, thank you, $2,500. We appreciate your support. Remember, all of the information you need to text is right on the screen for you, and I will continue to bring that out for you. But that is, we've hit the $5,000 level. We've hit the $2,500 level. We're going to keep this party going because there are so many ways that you, as you watch, you can support. Andrew M. Harrison, thank you. See your donation coming in. But again, want to thank Harry Wazer, who donated at $2,500. Dollars. All right, folks, remember, we want to get as much participation as possible. So at the $1,000 level, here is what your gift will give to WCA and the greater Westchester County community. We will be able to speak up for the broader youth justice in Westchester County and beyond. Let's keep it real. The justice system is broken, but you know what? Have no fear because WCA is here and making real change. Now help us continue to do the vital work of youth justice. You heard Lewis talk amazing things that he and so many others around the county and in the state are doing because of supporters like you. So grab your smartphone. All of the information to text is right up there. We're talking at the one thousand dollar level we want to stop criminalizing children as young as seven we are raising the age of prosecution to 12. that is the goal and you can help us reach that at the one thousand dollar level if you give right now if you are not new but true you know that wca has been involved in raise the age for quite some time and it's donors like you at the one thousand dollar level and beyond that help us continue to focus on training for justice involved youth parents and guardians so that they can advocate for themselves. That is what is so important. How are the children? Let's make sure they're all right at that $1,000 level. We're going to keep going. I'm looking at the screen. I'm looking for those donations. Again, you're texting 970-840-9000. You text uh, WCA kids. Then you enter the space. You enter the amount that you're donating, another space, and then you give us your name. 
Thank you so much for the donations that are coming in. Alan Greenbaum, thank you so much for your donation. I see that coming in. I'm looking for more names. I'm gonna, I'm here, I'm here all night. I'm shouting out. So let's go, let's go. Let me tell you a little bit more about the work that WCA is doing and how you, as you're watching, yes, you can help at $750. You will help us support our youngest residents, the babies, the infants who can't speak for themselves yet and they depend on our advocacy for early childhood support and home visiting. You know that WCA has been a fervent supporter of this work in WCA, excuse me, in Westchester and in New York. We have developed awareness campaigns about the positive outcomes and range of services available to families with infants and toddler, toddlers. Now we need funding and expansion for early childhood programs like childcare like Head Start and the services delivered to the homes of young families. That includes, of course, mental health services. We need more monitor monitoring, we need more funding. Gail and Terry Williams, thank you so much. I saw your donation pop up, gotta give you a thanks, but also we wanna thank Joanne Omarosi, who is helping us at this level so that we can focus on the youngest citizens in Westchester but there are so many other ways that you can help us. There's so much more work that WCA is doing. And at the $500 level, you can help us fund our data projects, products, excuse me, and projects. Now, Lynn Marie talked about that earlier. We're talking about publications that bolster our advocacy. They are accurate, they are accessible, and they are user friendly. And I don't know if you picked up what Lim was throwing down, but also WCA is taking data putting all of the data together and bringing it directly to you. That's why we need donations right now at this level so we can talk about data. Yeah, we talking about data. Maybe not practice, but we talking about data, okay? Let's do it, let's do it. Thank you so much. I see the donations coming in. Remember, 970-840-9000. Now we have taken data to the people of Westchester through Data Done Differently tour or staff members have shared findings from the 2019 data bulletin and other publications and companies and community groups like the Ethical Cultural Society, uh, the Ethical Culture Society, excuse me, Westchester Bank and PCSB Bank, just to name a few partners that are always down with the data, just like us. And also, of course, the Child Homelessness Data Dashboard is an important project for our work group where WCA staff is leading an effort to provide more accurate and updated data to empower partners to help homeless children. Community snapshots, that's a big one, that's a popular one, but we need your support at this level in order to keep the advocacy going. We're updating you on trends. It's interactive, it's user friendly. So thank you so much. I'm seeing the donations. We see, of course, the donors who have donated even before we started tonight, so thank you. But let's talk about the 250 level. Let's talk about at $250, you will join us in the fight against child poverty through awareness, policy, and advocacy. That's what WCA does. Child poverty in 2021, WC, WCA successfully secured. Sharice, thank you so much for joining us at that level. WCA has secured increased funding for after school and youth development programs that target low income children and families. That's what we're able to do when we get this type of work done. As a founding member, of the Child Poverty Reduction Core Group, we join fellow advocates in striving to cut child poverty rates by 50% by 2030. So using our data products to highlight the impact of poverty and on housing instability, hunger, education, achievement, and all those things together. We thank you for those who are donating. I wanna see more names. I wanna see more names. And that's why at this point in time, I am asking for full, participation, all right? So at any level, any of the ones that we've talked about or anything that you would like to provide at this time, it is your time to take, again, your digital paddle, that is your smartphone, and you are going to text 970-840-9000, type WCA kids, enter the space, type 
the amount that you'd like to donate, enter a space, and then type your name, just like Ariel has done. Thank you so much. I see the donations coming in. We have a $200,000 goal to reach tonight, so we need those donations to keep coming in. So let's get that 100% participation. If you can hear my voice, yes, I am talking to you. I see you eating that chicken. I see you enjoying your cocktails and mocktails. And now it's time to make a gift. Thank you so much, Janet. I see you, Janet Gutterman. Thank you. And we're going to keep this going all night. All of the information is up on the screen. But it's just about time to get into the awards part of the evening. Don't forget, though. You can text at any time. You can give throughout the entire night. And let's get that number, take it from the top, 970-840-9000. The message you will send to that number is W-C-A-K-I-D-S. Enter the space. Then enter the amount that you would like to donate. Enter the space again. And then provide your name, unless, of course, you'd like to donate anonymously. We thank you so much for those who have participated. Again, full participation is what we are looking for because Westchester's fiercest advocates for children and youth need your help. So again, we thank you for those who have already participated. We thank you to those who will participate. And I'm watching the chat. I'm watching social media. We want you to chat in the chat rooms. Again, full participation. So now let's highlight some honorees. We're going to give out some awards. Who doesn't love awards, right? And here to present our first award of the evening, the Children's Champion Award, is Dr. Ray Sanchez, Superintendent for the Ossining Union Free School District. Thank you, Erica. And thank you to the Westchester Children's Association for having me here with you this evening and for our partnership over the years. I remember our remote learning survey work and look forward to continuing our work together to ensure educational equity after the pandemic. I also recall your staff working with our OPEC organization and providing advocacy training to our parents and students. Thank you for always being a champion for our children. This evening, I am here to deliver some awesoming pride to the greater Hudson Valley, New York chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. What an incredible group of leaders. They have supported scholarships for our students, as well as sponsoring young ladies through their pedal mentorship programs. It is an honor to present the Children's Championship Award to Robin Williams, accepting for the Greater Hudson Valley, New York chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. Good evening. My name is Robin Williams, and I am the president of the Greater Hudson Valley, New York chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. On behalf of my chapter, it gives me great pleasure to accept the Westchester Children's Association Champion Award. Thank you to Maris Krasnov and the board of directors and Allison Lake and the staff of the Westchester Children's Association. Congratulations to the honorees this evening, Madam Secretary Hillary Rodham Clinton, Kate Weingarten, and our sisters of the Westchester chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. We applaud the work of the Westchester Children's Association to identify the needs of our children and to advocate to ensure those needs are met. The Lynx Incorporated is an organization of African-American women founded in 1946 that is devoted to strengthening African-American communities through fundraising, education, advocacy, and volunteerism. For 30 years, the members of the Greater Hudson Valley chapter of the Lynx Incorporated have dedicated our work towards youth in the communities we serve through our services to youth facet, along with our health and human services facet. Through award-winning regional and national programs focused on healthy living and healthy lifestyles, STEM and STEAM, economic empowerment, dental hygiene education, the arts, and education across the miles, just to name a few, we encourage our youth to reach their full potential. Our chapter is devoted to the educational growth of our children 
And to date, we have raised over $57,000 for scholarship awards and in support of historical black colleges and universities initiatives. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, we granted over $12,000 to benefit our community partners. Additionally, we have donated $2,500 and more than 3,000 pounds of food to combat hunger and food insecurity during this pandemic. Tonight, the Greater Hudson Valley New York chapter is delighted to be a guardian sponsor through the collective donations of our chapter members, alumna members, friends and family who recognize the importance of the work the Westchester Children's Association is doing. All of the honorees tonight working together individually and collectively make a difference because as Shirley Chisholm once said, Service is the rent we pay for the privilege of living on this earth. Once again, on behalf of the members of the Greater Hudson Valley New York Chapter, we thank you for this honor and for this beautiful acknowledgement. We recognize that children are 50% of our past, but 100% of our future. Thank you. Service is the rent we pay indeed congratulations and thank you robin williams congratulations to the greater hudson valley chapter of the links incorporated now here to introduce the children's champion award to the chapter of the links incorporated westchester county new york is dr tahira dupuy chase greenberg central school district superintendent thank you erica i am so excited to be here with all of you virtually I really feel at home when I'm with my Westchester Children's Association family. We are all on the front lines for our children every single day, and we must keep moving forward. We see the difference advocacy makes, and as Allison mentioned earlier, we still have a lot of work to do. Speaking of work, my fellow Westchester County, New York chapter of the Lynx incorporated like wca never stops working for each and every child in westchester county from the life mentoring program and national society of black engineers affectionately known as nisby junior chapter at my greenberg central school district to the carolyn thomas and and florence scott books and literacy drives at the theodore young community center to the young achievers program at New Rochelle and so much more. Their dedication to children and youth is boundless. I am a proud member of this prestigious sisterhood and it is my greatest honor to present the Children's Champion Award to our president extraordinaire, Terry Joyner, accepting for the Westchester County, New York chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. Good evening, I'm Terry A. Joyner, President of Westchester County, New York Chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. It is my pleasure and with gratitude that I accept the Westchester Children's Association Children's Champion Award on behalf of my chapter. We are humbled to receive this award and congratulate the other honorees. We are excited to continue the legacy of our award-winning service in Westchester community and globally as we celebrate 71 years of service for the betterment and enrichment of the lives of children and families. Through the fortunate establishment of partnerships that have espoused the same mission as ours, connected in service, linked in friendship. We have been able to provide over $100,000 in scholarships, reimagined our Carolyn Thomas and Florence Scott Book Fair to continue to promote literacy virtually, have answered the call of food insecurities during a pandemic, and continue to virtually provide much needed mentoring and programming to our youth at New Rochelle High School, Woodlands Middle High School and Mount Vernon High School and have contributed over a million service hours throughout the years. The resilient 57 members of the Westchester County New York Chapter of the Lynx Incorporated are professional women 
representing various careers, including educational, legal, STEAM, medical, the arts, and business, who are humbled to transform the lives of others and are dedicated to continue proudly serving our Westchester community and beyond through friendship and service. For we are women of excellence, continuing the legacy. Thank you. Okay, to the black and pink and green. Okay, I'm feeling these colors, but congratulations, of course, to Westchester County Chapter of the Lynx Incorporated for your well-deserved award. We want to remind you to continue to donate, and you can see that we have already reached over $165,000 raised. Let's go. Can we clap it up for y'all? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And as we get closer to the goal, we just, again, want to thank you. We want to celebrate with our community, virtually, of course, for all of the work that WCA and all of WCA's partners in the county and throughout the state are doing, have done, and will continue to do. We are excited for the bright future that is ahead and so, you know, let's celebrate that future together with a little entertainment from the Westchester Children's Chorus that is founded and directed by Amanda Gundling and the Director of Operations, Erica Kelly. That was a fantastic performance. I am impressed. Not only do you have to have great breath work to be a singer, but to sing through masks, I, I can't say that I'm not impressed. But thank you so much for the children's chorus. And thank you so much to those of you who are donating. Again, we are already at $165,000. And so I'm just gonna let you know, that because we have already reached $165,000 in our fundraiser today, we are getting a $15,000 capstone that has been given by an anonymous donor. That means we are getting so close 
to our $200,000 goal. And so that's where we need you. You, continu you can continue, excuse me, to donate. But now to present our next award of the evening is a good friend, a former WCA board president, and one I must say that always laughs at my jokes and appreciates my transitions, Doug Gould. Hi, I'm Doug Gould, a New Rochelle resident and former president of WCA's board of directors. I first met Kate when my family moved to her block in Mamaroneck in 1986. Our children were of similar ages and became fast friends during daring adventures up and down the hills behind our houses and in Kate and Seymour's pool. As children do, they draw their parents together as friends and collaborators in community development. As I got to know Kate, I learned of her commitment to children beyond her own household. She played an instrumental role, for example, in starting Keeps, an after-school program for kindergarten through sixth grade students that still supports children in our area. She recognized that with so many parents in the workplace, having a safe haven for children was essential. Kate is still on the Keeps board to this day. She introduced me to Westchester Children's Association and recruited me to join the board to help with communications. WCA became a shared adventure and I remained on the board for another 16 years. I thank Kate for introducing me uh, to this amazing change maker in Westchester County. Kate's been involved in WCA for about 30 years, many of them on the board. She helped WCA grow financially as a vocal member of the Finance Committee. In other community roles, she served as a trustee of the Village of Mamaroneck and helped raise funds for the Women's Housing and Education Development Corporation in the Bronx, as well as volunteering and supporting many other youth serving and educational organizations. At WCA, her business acumen, keen judgments about people and sense of order for good planning, strong systems and well-qualified staff to administer our finances helped to strengthen us. Her work and diligence paid off as WCA grew and prospered. She helped build a solid foundation that allowed WCA's leaders the flexibility necessary to build an effective and visible advocacy arm for Westchester's kids. Those who've worked with Kate are very familiar with her transparent style. She expresses her opinions clearly, but is also able to persuade others to adopt her views. Children of Westchester have benefited greatly from having an advocate in Kate who's able to cut through to the core issues and persuade leaders to see things to their benefit. Kate's dedication as a volunteer and major donor to WCA continues today, and I can think of no one more deserving than this award than my friend Kate Weingarten. Congratulations. 30 years ago, uh, WCA was mentioned in a local newspaper as having started a child care uh, center next to a family court. I thought this was such a good idea that I called up and made an appointment to go over and, uh, and meet the executive director. When I got there, I found out that Cora Greenberg had only been working uh, on this job for a week. And it was the previous executive director who had started the daycare center. However, Cora was never one to give uh, away an opportunity. She seized every opportunity she could. And WCA has, through the years, done exactly the same thing. Um, it advocates for children in the county uh, financially through, the, through their advocacy work in the courts. And it also um, provides data to other organizations and individuals to be their own advocates. Um, I'm preaching to the choir here, I know. But if by chance you don't know WCA, I invite you to look at their website, wca4kids.org, that's four, whoops, wrong backwards, <laughs> four, um, to see for yourself. My involvement with WCA includes two stints on the board of directors, uh, a willing and happy donor, and also I worked for several years uh, improving uh, after school care for children in Westchester County through a grant that WCA had uh, procured. And I am proud of that work.
Uh, WCA opened me, opened my eyes to a lot of the problems in the county. Uh, without that knowledge, I would not have been able to involve myself in advocating for special needs children in the Rhinex School District, nor would I probably have been involved with the after school program in Mamaroneck Village for more than 10 years. My husband and I uh, also now uh, give scholarships to students in Westchester Community College. I am happy to receive um, this award as a lifelong advocate for children in Westchester County, provided to me by WCA. Thank you. Congratulations, or as my people would say, felicidades, Kate and everyone else, but especially Kate, on your Lifetime Achievement Award. And if you look at the screen, there goes that $15,000 capstone anonymous donation. And you can see we are inching our way to $200,000 on the night. And again, many children will benefit not only from Kate's 30 years of service to children, but also from your donations for today. So Kate, again, I wanna just say we are thankful to you. We are thankful to see Seymour, excuse me, for your generous dream maker sponsorship. And again, you too can make dreams come true. So please continue to donate through the link online or text to donate and help us reach that $200,000 goal. That's texting to again, 970-840-9000. You are going to type WCA kids with a space, then enter the amount, any amount that you'd like to donate. You enter then another space and your name, or you can leave it blank if you would like to donate anonymously. And again, we saw that $15,000 capstone come in. We see now that we are at 180, almost 181,000 for the night. We appreciate all those who are donating. You're seeing the names of people who continue to support WCA rolling across the screen. And hey, you can see your name there too. So let's go for it. We are so close. We are so close to hitting that $2,000 goal for the night and we still need your help. So thank you for all those who have donated. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying dinner. I'm excited. Shoot me some pictures because I got to eat after this. Let me know what you're eating, what you're enjoying, and thank you for joining us here as we celebrate WCA and so many other champions for children. You saw the work that WCA is doing and Westchester County children need you. And now it is my distinct honor as we continue to move on in the program, I am going to introduce Hillary Clinton's colleague and longtime friend, Senator Chuck Schumer. Hello, Westchester Children's Association. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, and thanks for letting me join as we recognize the heroic work of Westchester's fiercest advocates for our children. And I especially want to acknowledge tonight's honorees, of course, my dear friend and colleague in the Senate, Secretary Hillary Rodham Clinton, recipient of the Edith C. Macy Award for Distinguished Service, the Greater Hudson Valley and Westchester County chapters of the Lynx, who are both recipients of the Children's Champion Award and Kate Weingarten, recipient of Lifetime Achievement Award. All of your dedication to the Westchester Children's Association mission is an inspiration to all of us. Now, for over 100 years, WCA has led the way in speaking up for all children in our community, making sure we care for them, provide for their needs, and achieve a world where all children are healthy, safe, and prepared for life. In the wake of this pandemic, that mission is more important than ever. And I promise every day I serve in the Senate, I'll stand by your side. That's why I fought for funds in the American Rescue Plan to support and even expand critical child services. And I was especially proud to have significantly expanded the child tax credit that will help cut child poverty in our country by half and offer desperately needed help to families across New York. In the months and weeks ahead, I pledge to work with all of you to pass additional public policies that will lift all families out of the pain of last year and make sure that every child, no matter where they are, where they live or who they are, have an opportunity to live with dignity and security. WCA has been working for that goal for so, so long, and I promise to work right alongside you in the weeks and months ahead. Thank you all and stay safe. 
Thank you, Senator Schumer, for your fantastic words, for your fantastic support. And we hinted that we have something big coming up, but I just got word that we have a $10,000 donation, it's anonymous, and that donation will be guaranteed to WCA, but first we gotta put in some work, folks, for the next $10,000 that come in. So that, that means you, at any amount that you can give right now, once we reach an additional 10,000 from where we're at now, that anonymous donor is going to give us 10,000, making that a $20,000 total donation. So again, we need you right now to text WCA Kids space, the dollar amount that you would like to contribute to our next $10,000 raised, then enter another space. And if you would like to offer your name, you can do so or leave it anonymous. The number that you are texting is right on your screen. That is 970-840-9000. I'm going to take it from the top now, folks. We are looking to get $10 thousand dollars and the next ten thousand dollars that we raise right here tonight we have an, ano an anonymous donor excuse me an anomer an anonymous donor <laughs> put those together that's gonna give us ten thousand dollars so we have some exciting news we have people that want to give to wca but uh I mentioned that we have some other folks that we have to bring on screen with these videos and i'll, I'll give you an update on that 10k and where we're at but uh, last, but by far not the least, please welcome back WCA Executive Director Allison Lake, who will present our last honoree for the evening. It is truly an honor for me to present our final award of the evening, the 2021 Edith C. Macy Distinguished Service Award that honors the memory of Edith Carpenter Macy, who was an advocate, activist, and benefactor on behalf of children. It is all too fitting that tonight we present the Macy Award to you, Secretary Hillary Rodham Clinton, in recognition of your outstanding record of advocacy and your accomplishments that have substantially improved the life of children in Westchester County and nationwide. I am particularly excited to honor you as our Westchester neighbor with a lifetime commitment to the welfare of children and your international leadership as Secretary of State and U.S. Senator in building a safer world for the future. I have been at WCA for a long time, and one of my fondest memories was when you spoke at our Take Action for Kids in 2004 in celebration of our 90th anniversary. Your help in rallying the community that day was really inspiring one of the many ways our work overlaps. For several years, WCA led the effort in Westchester to educate stakeholders and families on the importance of quality, affordable, easily accessible healthcare, an issue we know is important to you. Our most recent work on education equity during the COVID-19 pandemic to close the digital divide expands upon your efforts to bring broadband to remote areas of the state. As a mother and grandmother, I know you understand the ache that parents and guardians have to see that their children thrive, that they are given a second chance when they mess up, and the opportunity to reach their full potential. I could go on and on, but let's just say we are in sync on many fronts. I know others are as anxious as I am to hear from you. So on behalf of Westchester Children's Association, it is my pleasure to present you, Secretary Hillary Rodham Clinton, with the 2021 Edith C. Macy Award. Secretary? Thank you, Allison, and thanks to the Westchester Children's Association for this beautiful award. I am truly honored and delighted to take part in tonight's celebration of the work that the WCA staff board and supporters have done over the last 106 years, and especially during the pandemic. You know, I've been a fan of WCA for a long time. We share a lot of passions, early childhood development, opportunities for young people, equitable access to technology, and so much more. And thank you for your commitment to protecting and supporting our youngest Westchester residents 
babies and infants, toddlers and preschoolers under five. Thanks to Allison and her team for the 2018 conference, Vision Zero to Three, because you highlighted the value of home visiting program and other early childhood resources. And then in May, 2020, your survey of local parents identified internet and computer access as one of our most urgent needs. You know, we've known for a long time that the digital divide makes it harder for every child to get the world-class education he or she deserves. And we've seen how much worse the pandemic has made that. It's one of the reasons why when I was Senator from New York, I worked to expand broadband across our state. And I thank you for the work you're continuing to do. And of course, I applaud your advocacy efforts to ensure all children and young people have high quality, affordable, easily accessible health care. We gather in this unprecedented moment. Our country is still grappling with the impact of the pandemic and the economic crisis that it sparked. We're in the midst of a long overdue reckoning with racial inequality. And we're asking really important questions about the kind of country and the kinds of communities we want to be. That's why it's so important for WCA and all of your supporters to keep raising your voices, to keep working to ensure every child has the opportunity to live up to his or her God-given potential, no matter who they are or where they live. So thanks again <laughs> for this honor, which I will treasure. And I want to salute tonight's other honorees, former WCA board member, Kate Weingarten, as well as the Greater Hudson Valley Chapter of the Lynx Incorporated and the Westchester County Chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. Congratulations to you all. And finally, once again, to the Westchester Children's Association. Thank you for all you have done all you are doing, and all you will do. Let's go forward together. Hello, hello, is this thing on? All right, just double checking there, folks. We got an anonymous donation, so nice that I get to say it twice, but first, let me thank you. Let me say thank you and congratulations to Secretary Hillary Rodham Clinton. Now let's look at where we're at, money raised, over $180,000, but now I get to tell you again, uh, or for the first time, that we had an anonymous donation of $10,000 that we will receive for the next 10K that comes in. So this is a matching gift. We are looking to raise an additional $10,000 right now. And once we do that, because we're gonna do it, once we get the next 10K, that anonymous donor is donor, excuse me, is going to give us another 10,000. So, so really, we're going to get $20,000 right now. Am I right? I know I'm right. Let's go. And that'll get us closer to $200,000 on the night. That will get us at $200,000 on the night. So let's go ahead and do that. You're going to want to text 970-840-9000. Type in WCA Kids, enter the space bar, enter the amount. Of course, we're trying to get 10K. All right, folks, let's go. And then enter the space bar again and your name. And this is the part where I get to say my thanks, my humble thanks for WCA for bringing me back so that I could be here tonight live. I'm your live entertainment. We're here. Uh, we're doing things a little bit different because of what the world has gone through, but we still need WCA. And I'm so thankful to be an alumna of this organization. I'm so proud to have grown up right here in Westchester County. New row, stand up, let's go. All right, but to find, finally to close out this event, it is my honor to introduce Ann Umamoto, board president, and she will share the final thanks to all who helped make tonight's celebration possible. Let's get that 10K, folks. Thank you, Erica, for your energy and knowledge. You know about WCA's work from the inside. Wow, what an amazing event this was. Congratulations again to our honorees on such well-deserved awards. Your contributions to our community and relentless support of children continue to amaze us all. 
As Erica mentioned, I am Ann Umamoto, president of WCA's board of directors. I've been involved in this organization for over 15 years. Thank you for sharing this moment of celebration with us after a challenging year. I continue to be amazed at the impact we have in this community with our partnerships, data work, understanding the issues, we get things done. And with your help, we will continue to change lives for the next hundred years, even through a pandemic. We are blessed to be able to continue our work despite the challenges and keep our focus on the needs of Westchester kids. If you've not yet had a chance to make a donation, please do so now. Any amount will go a long way to helping all children be healthy, safe, and prepared for life challenges, even during a pandemic. Subscribe to our updates and stay involved. We have much in store over the coming months. We need your voices and your commitment to the children of Westchester. From all staff and board members of Westchester Children's Associations, thank you for joining us and celebrating the fiercest advocates. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you for helping us make magic happen for the children of Westchester. jamming there i didn't know you could see me but remember we are looking for another ten thousand dollars and some of those donations are still coming in but first let me thank again the westchester children's chorus you heard them as we were closing out the program but again we need to reach ten thousand dollars right now i know we can do it because if we reach ten thousand dollars right now we have another ten thousand waiting for us which will get us to our two hundred thousand dollar goal so i'm gonna let you know what you need to do again and the instructions again are on your screen but you're going to pick up your smartphone you're going to text to the number 970-840-9000 you are going to text the message wca kids space the donation amount you would like to make right now then another space and add your name unless you would like to be an anonymous donor we saw 
2000 excuse me we saw a $1000 donation come in a $500 donation come in 250 100 whatever you have now remember i said 100% participation and what better time is there to participate if you haven't already than right now so we can get to that 10k essentially that $20,000 we're looking to raise $200,000 for Westchester Children's Association. I've told you my story. You've heard stories of the young people that have been served and so many more. We had the honorees, we had the board members and staff, of course. And so now is the time for you to participate. Now is the time for you to support Westchester's youth. And now is the time to support WCA. Again, the instructions are right there. Let's get it. Let's get that 10K, folks. Oh, what's that now? I have people speaking in my ear. Looks like we're, we're we need about another five thousand dollars. Oh, Cheryl! I, Cheryl, how you doing, sis? Okay, thank you so much for that donation, Cheryl. I, I can't see you, but I see you, okay? Thank you so much for that donation. Looks like I, I have Rebecca here. She's gonna let me know what we're looking at. Oh, Amy, and Amy Goldman and Joel, Joel Brill, another $100. Thank you so much. I'm seeing them as they come in. I'll read your name. That's what I'm here for. That's why I'm here, is to make sure that you feel appreciated, to make sure that you know that you are a part of the success of WCA. You are a part of the success of Westchester children just like me. Westchester Children's Association has been around for over 100 years. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm not 100, okay? But I definitely grew up here, okay? I've been in Westchester. I, I have been around for just as long as some of the advocates that we that we honored today. And it's because of their tireless work that I grew up, that I went to school. I went to NYU as well, Maris, okay, let's go. Um, and then I came back to my community to work for an amazing place like WCA, and they brought me back now to talk to you. So again, we're looking to get to that $10,000 level because we have an anonymous donor that has already that has already made that commitment. So they want to encourage you to do the same. You can text the number that is on your screen. Again, that is 970-840-9000. See, I'm sweating over here, folks, because I know we're almost there. We're almost there, we can get it. When you text that number I just gave you, type WCA Kids, enter a space, then enter the dollar amount, the dollar amount that's gonna get us to that next 10K, enter a space again. And then please provide us your name. And when you do that, I will see it on the screen and I will give you a shout out, okay? Let's do it. We are trying to raise $200,000 for the children of Westchester, for the young people of Westchester. So much amazing work being done. Rebecca's gonna feed me those numbers when we get them. As soon as they come up on the screen, I'm gonna let you know. But we're at about $184,000 right now and we're so close. We're so close, we can get there folks, but we need your help. So we're gonna put up the information for you again. You're gonna text to this number, 970-840-9000. Once you get there, text WCA Kids. enter the space bar, enter the dollar amount, enter a space, a space bar, and then provide us your name. And once you do that, I will give you a shout out on the screen. We need about $5,500 and what was it? 5570 did I hear? Is that what I heard? 5570, let's go. We can do that. You can also send in checks, folks. You can also go to the website. You can also, there's so many ways. There's so many ways that you can give. Let's go, we are so excited. We know we can get to that $200,000 level, but we need your help. We need about $5,000. $570 right now. So who can who can get me to the next? Let's get to let's get that 70. Thank you in honor of Grace Osborne. $100. Thank you so much for that donation. I I want to share this. When I worked at WCA, I, I I lost my father during that time. And there was someone on the board that made a donation in my father's honor. So to see that to see a, a donation made in honor, that was beautiful. I love that. Sister to Sister International, love to see it. I'll also tell you another story. These days I work in the sports 
industry and I do a lot of work in women's hockey actually. And actually there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a family, a hockey family that had someone that used to serve on the WCA board. All of these things that I have gone on to do because of the work that WCA does. And it's come full circle. There's not anything that I do since leaving WCA as a staff member where I don't come right back. That is special, folks. That doesn't happen a lot. And that's why right now we're looking to get to that next 10K. I see 184 on my thermometer. We want you to help us get to $200,000. There's so many ways that you can donate. You can text. You can send in those checks. You can go on the website. But let's go ahead and get to that $200,000 mark. Thank you so much for all those who have donated over the years and for those who have donated tonight. We're still looking, we're still, we're still trying to get there and they're not gonna let me leave these hot lights until we do, so let's go. <laughs> uh, Rebecca's gonna give me an update once we have it, but again, you can text to that number that you see on your screen, that's 970-840-9000. See, I got it committed to memory now. You text WCA Kids, enter the space, then you enter the dollar amount that you would like to donate, enter a space again, and then please provide us your name, unless of course you'd like to remain anonymous. We have so many things at WCA that make us unique, that make us special. Uh, you heard about the data. Uh, you heard about some of the youth justice work that is happening. Of course, I'm a little bit biased because I started the podcast, but I'll tell you why I did that. Because a lot of times when people advocate on behalf of young people, they're not necessarily involving young people. And podcasting is kind of a thing people do these days. And so it, having a podcast, having the ability to have youth speak directly to issues is extremely important for the future of not just Westchester County, but for the future of this country, the future of the world. And so that's why we do the work that we do, but we can't do it without your help. So go ahead and text to the number that is on your screen, 970-840-9000. All right, folks, I think that'll just about wrap it up for tonight. Remember, you can text to that number, you can donate online, and of course, We'll take your checks too. Go ahead and send those over to WCA. But again, it has been my honor to be your MC for the night. Erica Lindsay Ayala signing out.